Hello there, Sully here, the retired tanker yanker with my life after trucking. Today I'm making another video about the history of Northeast Philadelphia, and I am at Pleasant Hill Park, and I am at the fish hatchery. This was a special place to me in my childhood because this is where I used to come to fish. Now, we are very close to the Delaware River, but this was a place for children to fish. And lots of kids used to come here to fish. And in the winter, when these ponds would freeze over, we'd also come here to skate. As you can see, the Torresdale Fish Hatchery, as it was called, was established in 1904. And the revitalization project took place in 2012. They cleaned this place up, fixed it. They planted these locust trees, put these fences in, put some pavilions in, some benches. Now, as you can see, this is fishing for children only, and it is catch and release. Back in the day, it was supposed to be catch and release, but we didn't always catch and release. In fact, I caught a fish here one time, and it was a little sunny. I brought it home, cleaned it. I was going to eat it for breakfast. Then my brother, who could tell tall tales better than Mark Twain, mentioned something in the earshot of my mother about, you know, they found radioactive fish in the Delaware River. Next morning, I went down to cook the fish for breakfast, and it was gone. I said, Mom, what happened to my fish? She said, I threw it out. Why? because it's radioactive. It was my brother telling one of his tall tales. Hey, before I continue, I want to give a shout out to my friends on Facebook at Philly, Northeast Philly and Old Photos, and particularly Fred Lamberti. He commented on my Thomas Holm video and told me about something that William Penn instructed Thomas Holm to do which was when he was measuring the city of Philadelphia, he was to add three inches to every hundred feet, which became known as the Philadelphia Standard Tape. So thanks a lot, Fred. That was a very interesting piece of history. He also mentioned that Thomas Holm was asked by William Penn to build a post office in the Taconi section of Philadelphia, of Northeast Philadelphia, because there was only one established post office in the colonies, and that was in Boston. So Holm designed the post office, and it was built, and it was the second post office. Now, the Torresdale Fish Hatchery was established in 1904 by the Pennsylvania Department of Fisheries which is now known as the Philadelphia Fish Commission. Shad was a very important fish in the Delaware River back in the day. Every April, the shad make their migratory run up the Delaware. And while the flesh is not edible, female shad are prized for their roe. It's considered a delicacy. But, there was also a need for sport fish to be stocked, such as black bass, trout, pickerel. And anybody who's lived in Pennsylvania knows what opening day of trout season is like. So they moved the fish hatchery from Bristol down here to Philadelphia. The Pennsylvania Department of Fisheries leased the property from the city of Philadelphia for a dollar a year. This site was chosen because of its natural strings, natural springs, and the ponds. Now, one of the ponds was, of course, converted into the fishing area that we know today. And there's another pond over here. The fish hatchery operated until 1956. Not coincidentally, the year I was born. And 
it became a popular fishing place for children. But it became kind of run down. City of Philadelphia was without money for a while, or kind of short on money. But as revenues increased, they were able to revitalize this park. There's an athletic field over there and a playground. And over on the river, there's a boat launch ramp. When I was younger, people would fish in the Delaware River for catfish and striped bass. I actually once caught a striper in the Neshaminy Creek, nowhere near a keeper. But there are game fish to be caught in the Delaware. And on any, any given day, you can see people fishing in the Delaware River for catfish. Now, we are also just behind the Baxter Waterworks plant, which is a wastewater treatment facility for the city of Philadelphia, where they clean up the wastewater and pump it right back into the Delaware River. This building over here was the hatchery office. This was the headquarters of the hatchery. It was built in 1914, designed by a famous Philadelphia architect named James Carson Marshall Ships. Ships, is that his name? This building contained three hatching tanks, and the hatchlings were pumped over to the ponds where they were allowed to grow until it was time to release them. Now, this building was built, of course, with this lovely tower, terracotta roof, and brick construction. This facility is now owned by the city of Philadelphia, and it is pretty much closed down now. And since there's a no trespassing sign, we've gone about as far as we can go. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it is a beautiful building. As you can see, I'm going to walk over here now. And we're going to take a quick look at the boat launch ramp. Pleasant Hill Park is a popular gathering spot. I see a lot of retired people just come down here to shoot the breeze, have a cup of coffee, and share fellowship. On weekends, Hot Riders come down here and they put on impromptu car shows. And over here is the boat launch ramp. Again, renovated in 2012. The parking area was entirely redone. And people come down here, as you can see, if I can zoom in on them. People come down here to congregate. There's a policy of no alcohol in this place, but as long as you're behaving yourself, that policy is winked at. But they did some landscaping. Down here they have some of the old oak trees that were here for years, showing signs of their age. But they also planted some new shrubbery, some new trees, and put it in a little walkway down by the river. And that is the Delaware River down there. Okay, this is Sully, the retired tanker anchor, saying safe and happy travels, signing off from Pleasant Hill Park. This has been a Coney Island Whitefish production. <laughs>